What's going on guys? Today we are fixing broken wheel studs on the FRS. So the previous owner states that uh, last person to put the wheels on on this side was a shop. And um, on the back, he said they must have forgot a lug nut. Really, I think that one's stripped. I know for a fact th there's two of these that are stripped or cross threaded. One of them is completely stripped because the lug nut fell off when I got home. Um, the other one I couldn't get off with an impact gun because it's cross threaded. So I might have to break that one off, but I am going to replace the two on the front, try to fix the one on the rear, um, replace it if I have to. I have three wheel studs here from Subaru and three lug nuts, and we're going to go ahead and start working on that car. Normally I would have backed it in and worked on it on this side, but... I'm going to be hammering studs, and I don't want to hit my dad's car. I've done that before, not with that car. But I'm lucky to be alive, and we're going to go ahead and get started. So I didn't record it because I had to do it on the ground, but just as I thought, I did have to break this one. Um, as you can see, this one right here, uh, this one's completely stripped. So I really only had three lugs holding my wheel on, and I've been driving around like that. Um, it's a really bad idea. This wheel almost fell off the other day. I started vibrating and I had to crank these down. So I'm going to go ahead and jack this up, take off both these wheels, and get these studs out in the front wheel. We're going to work on the back first so that I can see um, if we can just get one of the lug nuts threaded on the, the lug that's missing on this side. That's messed up on this side. So we're just going to go ahead and take this wheel off really quick. Is there even such a thing? So I just want to show this really quick. Um, previous owner said that it was recently worked on. Obviously you can tell there hasn't been a stud on there in forever. Um, if you look back here, all of these threads, let me try to get the focus a little better. All these threads look pretty normal, maybe a little bit boogered up. But I think I can save this stud because I think this is a pretty big process to replace one of these studs. In the back and the front is pretty easy. In the back, it's pretty difficult. So what I'm going to do um, is I'm going to hit this edge with a wire wheel, then run a die down here. And then um, I'm also going to put some grease on here. And I think it should be good to go. This is M12 by 1.25. My tap and die kit only has M12 by 1.5 and 1.75. So I don't have a die to put on here. So what we're going to have to do instead is uh, just try to use one of the lug nuts to do it. It's a little sketchy because I don't want to ruin a lug another lug nut. Actually, I do have another lug nut, this thread pitch. I'm gonna go use one of those for this. Um, but like I said, I'm gonna hit it with a wire wheel and put some grease on it. All right, so here's the lug nut I used. I actually bought it for this car, but I wanted the lug nuts to be identical, so I decided not to use these. Um, I have OEM Subaru lug nuts, but these are the right thread pitch. So, as you can see now that we're all done here, what I did was I put some grease on this one and ran the lug nut down on it to get grease into the lug nut, and then I put grease on this. I got the lug nut as straight as I possibly could, threading on there, it wouldn't thread on at all, but held it as straight as I could and ran it down with the impact gun. And as you can see, obviously the end's a little bit messed up right there, but all the threads are perfect. And it went on and off multiple times. So this stud is actually good, which is awesome because we don't have to replace it. So I just noticed something kind of crazy. I never had this wheel off before. I had the one on this side off when I peeled the dip to get the dip in the lug nut holes. And you look over here and everything's completely normal. Uh, pay attention to right around here. It looks like at one point there were hub-centric rings on here, probably for aftermarket wheels. On this side, there's crushed hub-centric ring right here that needs to be pried out. That's why this wheel was vibrating and wasn't sitting right. Um, and then in the front, I don't, I don't know, I haven't looked at that yet, but this needs to come off. This is like plastic ring that was just crushed behind the stock wheel. That's ridiculous. All right, that's it. I can't believe that was back there like that. Obviously, that'll cause some vibration issues. I'm just so fed up with these expectations. They keep weighing me down. My heart is begging me to get the head. All right, we're all fixed, and we got five lugs on there. Uh, we are going to go ahead and move on to the front now. 
All right, so we only got three lug nuts holding this one on, so I'm gonna go ahead and pop all three of those off. And I did already loosen these ones as well. As you can see, we had to break this one off. We have this one, which is does look potentially fixable. But I don't think I'm gonna fix it. The, the end is completely stripped, but back here, there are good threads. But these, I'm already changing one, I might as well change two of them and get all brand new studs in there. Or not all brand new, but Make sure there's none with any problems at all. I see we got the same thing going on here. I didn't take this hub centric uh, ring off, so that's smashed. So that's why this wheel was wobbling too, which probably wobbled the bolts loose um, when the wheel almost fell off the other day. But uh, we're gonna go ahead and get this spacer off. We need to pull the brake caliper off and the rotor off. It doesn't look like there's any bolts holding the rotor on, which is awesome. I hate when cars do that. So, you know, we're gonna go ahead and pull this ring off. And then, it looks like I can take the caliper bracket off all in one piece. Looks like two 17 millimeter bolts back here. So I'm gonna take the caliper and the bracket off both together, or at least try to. And I lied. I'm gonna take the caliper off and check the slide pins and everything since I'm gonna have it apart anyway. So I'm gonna take the hub centric ring off, then the caliper, then the caliper bracket, then the rotor, and we should be able to hammer these studs out easily. So, I can't get it off. It's really, really stuck. Usually hitting around here with the hammer and hitting back here with a rubber mallet will get it off, but it's basically welded with rust around the center here. So, uh, what a lot of people don't know, is these holes right here, these little holes are actually threaded. I don't know what size they are. Uh, it looks like maybe M8, um, maybe a little smaller than that, I'm not entirely sure, but I need to find something that's the same thread pitch and you can thread the bolts in there and that will pull the rotor off. So using like an impact gun or something like that, um, you just need to find out something that uses the same size uh, on Civics, they have something similar like this. You just pull out a, a bolt from your seat and they fit in. This is a lot smaller than that. I'm just going to search around, see what I can find online. I don't think I have any bolts. I just checked my toolbox. So I'm going to try to find one in the car that's the same size as this and I'll let you know what I find. All right, I did find a couple. They're M8 by 1.25 and they fit in here. I'm going to go ahead and run them down with the gun just a little bit at a time and it should pull this rotor off. All right, as you can see, it worked like a charm. Didn't take much effort, so now we're going to go ahead and pull this off. It's just a good trick to know in case you're ever having trouble getting a rotor off. And I'll just go ahead and set this down on the wheel gently. So now you can see these are really easy to get out. So what you do is you just rotate it there, and there's enough room to hit it out. Just hit it out with a hammer. So I'm going to go ahead and get both of the bad ones out. Where are they? This one right here and this one. We're just gonna go ahead and hammer both of those out and then I'll show you how to get the new ones in. So as you can see, the studs are fairly easy to hammer out. Um, and then to get them in, what you wanna do is take a lug nut that you don't wanna use you're gonna take this stud and slide it in like that. And then you're gonna need a little bit of a spacer. What I'm gonna use is this nut, this big nut. It'll slip over the stud like that, just to make sure the, yep, the end part fits in there. So put that on there. And then you're gonna thread your lug nut on and just use the gun to tighten it down. And this lug nut doesn't want to thread on here very well. 
Let me make sure that stud's not messed up. Huh. I guess that stud is a little buggered up. It was open when they gave it to me. We're gonna put the other one in first. Yeah, it looks like there's something in the threads. It should still be good. We're gonna put this one in first though, just to be sure. Just tighten that down. And that's it, then you got all good studs. You can just go ahead and bolt everything back together. Honey, I'm a perfect ten. Whoa, whoa. Honey, I'm a perfect ten. Whoa, whoa. And there you have it. All five bolts, or all five lug nuts are bolted in there. And uh, we're good to go. This side was fine, didn't have any strip studs or anything like that. So, um, yeah, that's gonna be it. All right, you guys, that's it for this video. Thanks again for watching. If you liked the video, make sure that you subscribe, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends. But thank you so much for watching. Peace.